Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I will show you guys how I made Rainbow Dash's wig. So for the yarn wigs, I actually use 100% acrylic yarn, and it will say on the label whenever you guys are looking at it, but I just got all of the colors here, I prepared it, and I think this is enough for all of Rainbow Dash's wig, since it's gonna be kind of like a toupee style. So I'm just going to prepare everything. I do use two pet combs, pretty much I have this plastic one to kind of detangle everything first. And then I go in with a finer metal um, pet brush. And this one actually kind of hurts um, your actual finger, so maybe wearing gloves would be better. So this is how it looks after you brush it all out. As you can see, it's very full and very thick, and some people actually use it like this. But I'm going to go ahead and straighten all of the wefts. It is the most satisfying part is when you straighten it, and it's very like long. That's kind of actually how you get the length. When you straighten it, make sure that you use kind of like a tight force and gently pull the actual yarn. So that will actually kind of like stretch it out and make it even longer. So here is a before and after, just so you guys can see a comparison. The other one is very full, while the other one is very long and very, very thin. So I have prepared a wig cap for Alistair already. As you can see, it kind of looks like a helmet. But I did draw out the toupee kind of part of it. And that is the part that we're actually going to add the wefts on. And that's pretty much it. So literally, we're pretty much making a toupee for Rainbow Dash since we're only going to be covering a bald spot. So that's kind of interesting, right? But I started gluing on to the wefts and I started with the red, of course. I went ahead with the same exact color scheme that she has for her hair. So I just went off with the actual Rainbow Dash picture. And typically for wig making, people would be using Elmer's glue or something of that nature, but I use Hot Glue Gun, and this is actually a new brand I have been using and I've been testing it out the past few wigs. I actually use the Gorilla Glue Hot Glue, and it's very, very powerful. It's like industrial level because it can literally hold anything. I've tried gluing it with glass on glass, and it literally does not budge. So if it does not budge for that, I think it will be fine for the wigs. And here I was actually doing a live stream on my Instagram, so as you guys can see, it was very late, but I did have some people over here, and I just wanted to give a shout out to you guys. Hey! What's up? Hallelujah. So moving on, as you can see over here, I'm actually gluing hair wefts perpendicular to the actual line so that when we flip it up when we're styling it, you cannot see the wefts inside. So that's just a good way to kind of cheat the hairline, I guess, and make it look very, very clean. And uh, moving on to the green, oh my gosh, it's just really, really satisfying to see all of these colors together and blended it together. It was just a fun experience making this wig, honestly. So now I'm just brushing this super cool hair. Oh my gosh, look how long it is though. And it's very, very like mermaidy. At the same time, it's very rocker. But we're gonna go ahead and also cut it. And I'm actually going to be using an eyebrow trimmer so that we can actually kind of razor cut the hair wefts. Whenever I cut the hair wefts, I try not to use scissors for it because um, the look of it visually is very close to a human hair. And sometimes when you cut with scissors, it can be very, very blunt, especially with this scale. It's a little harder to kind of fade it in and make angular cuts with scissors. So to thin it out and to make everything kind of pointy, 
I use an eyebrow razor. So this is the kind of pre-trimmed version. I trimmed it out, but it's still very, very long. It looks like Liberty Spikes. But as you can see, it's more thinned out, and it actually goes in, in the very tips. And that is the look that I wanted to do. And right now, I'm just adding some heat onto the actual webs. I just wanted to kind of pre-style it before actually styling it, just to see, kind of like play around with the texture and also the curling of the hair. A lot of you guys were asking what tool I'm using over here to kind of heat the webs and it's pretty much a mini iron. You can actually get it from Amazon but it is a mini iron and it comes with a lot of attachments um, but it works well with yarn wigs just because it actually adheres to heat. As you can see over here I'm pretty much literally ironing the hair down and straightening it so it's a great tool. So this is how the hair looks after we've ironed it and kind of pre-styled it before the main styling session. So as you can see over here, it is so beautiful. The colors just look so magnificent. Look at this view and angle over here. Oh my gosh, very satisfying. But now we move on to the undercut portion of this wig. So to blend in the actual webs onto his hairline, I'm actually going to be painting his entire head blue just so that it looks cleaner and it looks more finesse and I'm actually going to be painting it also sideburns. So if you haven't guessed already, I'm actually going to be gluing the actual hair onto his head. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I did try to make the undercut look onto his wig cap, but it just doesn't look great for my opinion, for my taste. It wasn't as flat as I want it to be, and it actually doesn't really like look like it's growing out of his head. Um, so I wanted this to be as flat as I can make it to be and also as realistic as I want it to be. So I thought just gluing it there and making him a toupee would be the best solution. And now I start gluing the webs onto his head and using hot glue, it was kind of really, really challenging to do because I was trying to make it really flat. So time-wise, you only really have a small amount to work with because the glue dries so quickly. But then that's also a good part that the glue dries quickly so you can actually play around and layer the webs. So there's just so much pros and cons with using the hot glue method. I then start cutting the hairs again just to give it the undercut look. For this one, I wasn't really going for shaved, but I was going for more of a really laid out, like flat kind of hairstyle. So I really wanted this to be very, very short. And I tried to keep it really, really close to the concept art that I have created.
And just to make it cleaner and keep it down and flat, I actually used water. But you can also use a mixture of water and glue to really make it permanent. But for Rainbow Dash, I just used water and it laid out pretty well. So now we literally give him his mane or wig or toupee, but I'm just going to be styling it. And if you guys are wondering how I actually attach it, I use a micro pin that you can actually get from like Joann's, Walmart, or anything. But they're really, really short. They're like half an inch type of pins. And I just put two in the front and then two in the back. And um, that's how I hold it in there. So I don't necessarily glue the wigs on. Or, I mean, you can glue them on if they are permanent, but... If you want more of a semi-permanent fit, then you can use the pins. So that is pretty much it for Rainbow Dash's wig. And if you guys haven't seen this transformation, go ahead and click the link down below or wait till the end of this video. And I will include another link just to go to the transformation video. But I am really, really happy with how this turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this wig tutorial. Or if you guys just enjoyed my take on Rainbow Dash's hair. I really thought that this was so fun and so vibrant. I've never really done anything like this. So it was something new for me, especially because of the whole toupee and then gluing onto the actual head type of thing. I've never really done that. So this was something new that I had to face. And I thought it was amazing and it looked really, really great in the end. And that is what matters. I want it to look great. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you guys did. And comment down below what you guys think of my version for Rainbow Dash. And also if you guys want to see more of this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell button if you want to be notified whenever I do upload a video. But other than that, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!